Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to delete files like this within Python. Uh, I've already shown you how to read and write uh, files using Python, so today, or well it's still the same day, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, delete them. So this way if you have some, like if you're using Linux I guess would probably be the uh, most common case for this. If you have a file you want to delete, you can just have a program do it for you instead of having to go into the terminal and add all that stuff to uh, the command and make aliases if you want to make um, a faster way to do it and all of that stuff. So this way you can just make a file with input if you want. So for the uh, mode after you set the path you're going to put A, and this is going to allow us to delete files. It's not going to allow us to read or write, though, just like how if we used R, it would not allow us to use write, and if we used W, it's not going to allow us to use read. So now, if we um, do files and we want to delete it, you don't just do del like that or anything else like del and then files because uh, all that does is delete the actual. Uh, object, but not the file. So to do it, you just do files dot truncate, and what this will do is it will delete the file. So enter, and then files dot close. You may be wondering, well, if you deleted it, what's the point of closing it? Well, truncate doesn't actually delete the file; it deletes all the information within it. So, in Linux, I guess you wouldn't want it wouldn't delete the entire file, so you might have to do something else for that. But it will delete the contents of it, so the file won't actually do anything if it's just something you want to stop working. But yeah, and then uh, so, what if you want to um, do something else, like just delete? Dang it. Set it to the uh, files. I set it to um, deleting again. So we do this. Change that to write. Okay. So if we do files dot write, and then this is a line. Period. This. Oops. This is another and then backslash and t this is say third alright so after that we will have an entire um, ah, sorry um, we'll have an entire like file to use again so what I'm going to show you is how to um, delete certain pieces of a file. So, oh wow. Excuse me, one extra space and it gives you an error. Oh, isn't that nice? So, oh my god. My bad. Hit that with my pinky. So now this will actually work. Um, so if you want to do just certain pieces, you do files.truncate and then in here you can just do one. And now, if we close this and open it, well, since that's kind of out of date, reopen it, we'll get T. You'll be wondering, whoa, but we said one. What it did was it deleted everything except for one. So it left all the other data, it took away all the other data except for the amount of bytes that we entered in. So, unlike the other ones that read left to right, this one reads right to left. It's kind of um, weird, and some people might get a little. It might take a little bit of getting used to, but if you know C, it's probably similar to that. I don't know C, but this is based off of C, so I'm assuming. But anyways, now that that is uh, rewritten. Uh, I'll show you again what this would 
do if we did uh, files dot truncate and then let's say four this should leave us with the word this so we go in here we have this so actually when you use truncate it goes right to left instead of left to right so when you're deleting bytes you have to remember this and get used to it because uh, it may kind of trip you up and you may end up deleting things that you don't want to delete so in that case if it was something you already wrote in Python hopefully you can just copy and paste it if not you're probably going to have to rewrite whatever you just deleted completely so yeah hopefully you don't end up with that uh, error and yeah anyways thanks for watching this video there's also going to be a part four in where I show you how to make a program that will add uh, interactivity to this so you can make a file choose if you want to delete it and all that good stuff so be sure to watch that if you like the video please, uh, please press like if you um, want to see future videos subscribe and comment with any questions that you may have